much cost to the station at this point? No, we know generally the, you know, the parameters of the federal money that we have to work with. And, um, uh, you know, there's going to be have to be some city resources that go into it. But we, we, we think the site we've picked is really going to help on the cost. We're not talking about tearing a building down and putting a new structure up. The first floor of the DOA building really, ha it already has a cap it has a, a, a terrace cafeteria. It has a lot of amenities that people are looking for. Um, so, you know, we're obviously really going to work with the design team, and we're going to try to keep the cost as low as we can. But we also want to make sure that this is really a, a first class, um, a first class station. And I will just say this choice is one that really helps on the cost issue because you're dealing with a very good structure, a very good building. It has a lot of what we already need, uh, and it obviously is much cheaper than if we were talking about tearing a building down and putting a new building up and doing those kinds of things. Governor, the state was trying to sell this building a few years ago. Is that still possibly in the future plans, or is it definitely going to stay as a state office building? Well, you know, it's going to be a state office building as long as I'm governor now. They're obviously, you know, at the point where we were thinking of selling it, they're, you know, the market changed dramatically. I think obviously this uh, decision changes that issue. It's not to say somewhere down the line there might not be some private development for that building fitting with the station that would that would work. But again, those are decisions, you know, years from now. Now this will be, our plan is this will be a state office building on the higher floors and the first floor will be the train station and it will, you will then go on very, as you can get a sense of the rendering, you'll go down to the track level uh, which will be very, very well done, and, and uh, it really fits. I mean, this is one that when everybody looked at this and some of the preliminary design work and the city looking at it, it really all fits together. It fits beautifully what the mayor's, uh, for the public market uh, square that he had talked about, and particularly the parking that the city has been focused on. It fits, you know, directly with that. So this, this really has fallen together, I think, as a, a very... I like to say these are hard decisions to make. This became a pretty easy decision when you looked at the options, took into the, the cost factor, looked at this, this building and what you could do with it. What was it that really knocked the other options, the Swift Building or One West Wilson, sort of out of the running? I just I think it is, you can see this is a fairly new building, I think 16 years old. It's a good building. It's got the terrace. It's got amenities that people would really want uh, who come to the train station. The location is, maybe for me, and I, the mayor should speak to this, but um, for me, I think the location with what the city's doing on parking, I mean, this has been one of the big issues for all of us. When you came downtown, one of our real concerns on a station downtown was could you have good, convenient parking for people? And what the city already had in, in, in its plans really fits together. So all of that comes together really perfectly at this site. No. Sure. Well, we had we'd already planned uh, before Governor Doyle made his decision to um, to create a new parking ramp, an underground parking ramp, to replace the government east ramp, which is the one that you quite, can't quite see, but it's right across the street from the DOA building on Wilson Street. Uh, we had planned uh, 850 or so stalls. Uh, with the governor's announcement, we increased that to 1,200. We may go down another level to 1,600. So it will be between 1,200 and uh, 1,600 stalls, which can serve easily the train station, replace our existing 500 or so stalls at Government East, and also serve a new hotel. What's the cost for that, the mayor? Do we know? Uh, I, d I don't have a cost estimate uh, off the top of my head, but we have um, analyzed the cost per uh, stall. And I can tell you, and these figures may not be applicable for going lower, but when we looked at the two-level 850 stall uh, arrangement, that was about $26,000, $27,000 per stall. And again, I wouldn't want you to do just the simple math because when we go lower, that number may change. But that was the cost system we had back then. Right. I don't know. Well, we want the the plan is to have the trains up and running by 2011, and so everybody's on a very uh, we're working very very hard at this. Um, you know, this we've obviously in Madison. There's a lot of talk about, and we're talking about the station. There is, uh, we're well underway now on having the the work done on the track, particularly the new track to be built from Watertown to Madison. The improvements that to be made between Watertown and Milwaukee. Uh, they were hard at work on the improvements to be made between Milwaukee and Chicago. So, all of these pieces are moving very very rapidly, uh, and we really want to have trains running as quickly as possible. Governor, one of the candidates for governor has said that the 
of like if he'd stop this project, do you think that's a realistic promise to make? No. Why not? Well, um, first, this is a federal project. It's a little like saying you agree with the federal government that you're going to build the interstate, and then after you sign all the agreements and undertake it, then say to the federal government, sorry, we're not. So, um, you know, it's the, it is the same thing. This is a federal... This is a federal high-speed rail. This isn't a local little, you know, sometimes this gets, I hear people talk about commuter rail. That's not what this is about. This is about inter, uh, an interstate high-speed rail system in the United States. Just like the interstate highway system, that's a federal system. Uh, and we are entering into the appropriate agreements with the federal government to move forward on that. Uh, and... I mean, I guess short of sitting down in front of the federal government and defying the federal government, I don't think it's realistic to say you're going to, that this, uh, you know, project would stop. Also, uh, you know, by the time somebody would try to do that, there are going to be a lot of people at work. So sort of like saying to people, all right, everybody pack up and go home, uh, those jobs are gone. Uh, and it's also saying something to me that's it's just incomprehensible, which is, okay, uh, we're going to give this money to Texas that wants it, or Florida that wants it, or Georgia that wants it. We're not going to have it in Wisconsin. I mean, that, I've never understood this argument. By the way, those are Republican governors in those other states that are trying to get the rail money. So I, I just make that point. But, um, you know, to say uh, we just aren't going to be part of this, uh, I just think as a practical matter, it's a nice thing to say in a political campaign, maybe. I don't know. I don't understand the politics of it. Maybe it is, you know. But as a practical reality, you have agreements with the federal government on a basically what is fundamentally a federal project. Uh, I think it's pretty hard to, to, you know, stop that. Mostly one more. Going to have to be changes within the Department of Administration, otherwise, to accommodate there's now being a um, There will have to be some. They aren't significant. The, the first floor, if you know that building, is largely an entrance floor. Uh, there, is, there are some state offices there that would be moved uh, to other places. Um, there will have to be security. Obviously, one of the things we're going to really make sure we're, we work very hard on is if this is now a major public access building, we're going to have to have uh, security for the state portion of it, particularly because we have computers and other things in that building that are important. So, yeah, we're going to have to work on that. But this is not, uh, you know, the basic function of that building is continue to be a state office building on the on the higher floors with the first floor being uh, the station.